Now, reactions have begun to throw the sack of 4,000 workers in the Kaduna State Civil Service as labor commenced a warning strike today. Some analysts who spoke with Plus TV Africa's Jacinta Buko say it is ill-timed considering the biting economy in Nigeria. Regarding the state government's secular against the five-day warning strike, workers in Kaduna commenced a strike, starting with a protest over the unfriendly labor matters, saying an injury to one is an injury to all. National President of the National Union of Local Government Employees, Ambali Hakim, speak on the update of the strike. The airport is shut down. The, the transmission companies for electricity shut down yesterday. Water corporation shut down. Even government offices and agencies shut down. Again, all local governments shut down. All schools shut down. So it's a total lockdown in Kaduna State. Public relations consultant Mohammed Abdullahi also reacted to the sack of over 4,000 workers, saying the government should have paid their severance before the sack. It's rather unfortunate and uh, because we are, uh, well, concerning the kind of situation we are, the country where there is rampant unemployment and then to cap it all, the issue of uh, the pandemic, the global pandemic of the coronavirus, where uh, things are becoming increasingly difficult. If you are sacking someone immediately, it means there should be a provision. The Nogi president stresses further on their demand. So call labor to negotiation. Let's sit down. Those that you sack in 2017 without paying their remuneration, their gratuity, do, are you sentencing them to premature death? Even the former president of my union was sacked arbitrarily by Governor Rufai. He became depressed and he died. So many people have been sentenced to premature death. Kaduna state government says it has demonstrated commitment to the welfare of workers, but insists that this is sustainable only in the context of the general welfare of residents and spending 84 to 96 percent of its allocation from the Federation account on salaries and personal costs. Jacinta Obuku reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.